So the ICT dashboard has been uh, designed for the Department of Education to view information about their ICT infrastructure. This information is normally spread over uh, numerous disparate systems and even if we were to give raw access to this data it would be too technical or uh, too hard to consume. So the uh, benefit and challenge in a way of the ICT dashboard is to interpret the data and make it available to a broad audience in a way that they can understand it and make decisions. So this can be ranging from directors to ICT um, support staff to school principals and school-based network administrators. So we need to be able to make the data available and understandable to a whole bunch of people. Uh, well, there are plenty of different uh, off-the-shelf applications that can visualise raw data, but uh, the thing that distinguishes Dashboard um, are a few things. So firstly, it's the ability to integrate with various source systems um, and not necessarily ones which uh, have been designed for pro programmatic access. Uh, so we are able to um, integrate with them and um, separate them out so that we will modulize them so that we can actually add, modify and remove these systems without major upheavals to the application. Uh, secondly, it's um, the ability to interpret the data. So it's one thing to be able to throw raw data at a user and say, hey, can, can you understand this? It's another thing to understand that data and to actually um, be able to look at what, what problem we're trying to address, what decisions we're trying to empower. And uh, finally, I guess it's the flexibility. So uh, being able to um, progress the product with technology changes and demands from schools gives uh, Dashboard the, um, the edge over other data visualisation applications. So the ICT Dashboard uh, is built upon the Microsoft.NET framework using C Sharp. Uh, it imp implements AngularJS over an MVC de design pattern. Uh, we use Entity Framework as the ORM and data is, score is stored within SQL databases. Uh, we employ a Azure Redis cache, which speeds up authorization, which uh, improves user experience because they have a, a faster um, time logging in. Um, we have a custom notification system, which provides alerts when errors occur and also when data is missing for a certain period of time. And finally, it's hosted on a Microsoft um, IIS uh, instance across a web farm so we can handle higher load. Uh, so seeing that the IC dashboard is delivering uh, valuable and targeted information to schools, it already has been making a difference. Uh, the feedback from schools has been encouraging and there's been a reduction uh, to the, the call to the ICT Customer Service Centre. Um, by giving schools the ability to um, view information inside the black box that is normally their ICT infrastructure, they're being empowered to make uh, accurate um, and informed decisions and troubleshooting and also um, planning for the future. So all these things have already been realised by schools since the inception and the implementation of ICT Dashboard. A constant challenge is to uh, remain current with uh, technologies while still delivering functional uh, improvements to the Department of Education. So with this in mind, one of the things that we're looking at doing is um, increasing our level of .NET Framework to a more current version and also updating Angular to reflect the current versions that are out there. Um, in addition to this, we, we will be moving Dashboard to the cloud. Uh, this presents its own challenges, uh, as a lot of the source systems are still on-prem, so we need to implement this in a way that we don't add additional delay to the data. And uh, on the topic of data, uh, we are looking at reducing the delay for key pieces of information. So we have found that uh, for some statistics, there is further value for schools to have the data um, available at a quicker rate, for example, internet usage and statistics. Uh, so we'll be looking at implementing this in a way that doesn't place undue load on the source systems.